so I'm here with uh, Bruno Carlucci, Scaff Elias. Yeah, so we just had the chance to try out Artifact, really awesome game, and we just had a couple of questions for you guys. So the first one is, what do you think are some of the defining features about the game that makes it different from other online card games? Do you want to start with these ones, Scott? Sure. Uh, I think the initiative system is pretty unique. Uh, it's something that we're really proud of. Uh, the back and forth between the players feels pretty natural. Uh, you're never really waiting a long time for another person's turn. That's probably the number one. Yeah, I would, I, the number two is also like the amount of state that is persisting across the game. Like, uh, there's a tendency in card games to sometimes have a lot of uh, places where you kind of start from scratch and like all the creatures get lost. But with the improvement system and like uh, heroes that persist and come back to life after a couple of turns, there's a lot of state that gets built, and it's kind of like telling a story from beginning to end. Yeah. Next question. So skill versus net decking. How do you think artifact players will be able to respond to the meta builds? I think that uh, we have a lot of experience right now. We have been running a beta test for quite a while. Uh, we saw our most skilled players participating in tournaments, internal tournaments, and uh, it's a consistent thing that we've seen that the best players play really high no matter what deck they play. So yeah. it's not like someone figured out a deck and that deck is the one that wins. It's always about the players, and that keeps us very excited about it. Do you have any comments to add to that? No, that's pretty much right. And so far, we've seen uh, definitely the better players, no matter what they're playing, and no matter what they're playing against, tend to win. So. Hopefully that'll carry through. So we heard that there was a million dollar prize that's scheduled for the first quarter of 2019. That's a pretty big <laughs> amount. How do you think the game's gonna do like within esports? Uh, well, um, esports is really important for us and also for the fans because first of all, yes, it's not a million dollar total prize. Right. It's a million dollar first prize. So the total prize pool is much larger than that. That's intense. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually good to point out. But also. Um, Esports provide a way for fans to actually connect not only to the game, but with personalities, people that they care about. They connect to them, watch their streams, watch them play, and then they want to play and they try the decks that they want to do. So it's really important for us. Not only do we want to uh, have a big healthy scene for tournaments in the same way that we have done with CSGO and Dota, but also we want to make sure that there's a circuit going through around the year uh, so that it's not just like a big event and we're gone, but rather a healthy ecosystem that can create a lot of uh, job and value for a lot of people that are interested in the game. Yeah. Beta testers have mentioned that there have been some internal tournaments and a public statement about in-client tournaments on launch, and most importantly, no ladder system. Um, can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, we'll be having, as I, as I just said before, uh, we've been writing some tournaments. Tournaments are really important for us to understand. I, I, I think it's really important for the beta test to find the people that are able to break the game and if there's uh, any sign that there's something that needs to be changed. So far we're very pleased with the results both with like what the game is right now but also how the pro players have re-engaged with the uh, tournaments over and over. It's been a lot of fun uh, so that's for the first part of the question. Uh, for the second part of the question, do you want to talk about ladders? I know you love ladders. Yeah, uh, ladders can be sort of grindy and uh, for everyone in the middle, for the people at the very top of the ladder, ladders are great. And for everyone else, it's kind of like you play and you win half your games all the time, exactly, no matter if you're improving or not. Just one little number that changes. Um, so we try to wanted to try to move away from that, and we want to try to have a lot of different ways where after a short amount of time, you essentially can achieve a victory of some sort. So uh, whether that's for money in a, in a pro tournament or for other stakes in uh, smaller tournaments, and we also want to focus a lot on casual play as well. But, but essentially, it's the same system as the pro play, where we want to put you into a small pool of people, where you play for a while and you win, and then start that over again. And then you sort of choose your own stakes, whether they're casual with friends or, you know, very competitive. Uh, so last question, what do you personally find most appealing about the game that you hope others will enjoy as well? So I've been playing the game for over three years now, and I, yeah, and I feel like I don't know anything, and that's the part that I enjoy the most. Like things that I, a year ago, I would say like 100% you do this every time. And now I say like, no, you don't do that ever. <laughs> or you go back and forth. Uh, there's certain decisions about the game and like, uh, the game supports replays, for example. So we get to watch a lot of replays of games that we played before. And we, especially I think us two and a couple others, we get into discussions of half an hour of, should I have deployed the hero here? Yes, no. And it's really hard to find agreement because there doesn't seem to be a clear line of play. It doesn't seem like it's a game that you can solve by just watching at it, it's just every time it's different, and I never get bored of it. Yeah, it's, that's that's a, that's the most important thing. Never get bored. Um, it, it's so different every time you play, and uh, it's just amazing. Exactly what Bruno said. He, he stole my answer. 
it's we had a discussion just the other day about one particular strategy element that was a hundred we were like a hundred percent on and then we're like we don't even know if that's true um, and, and 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 it's it's not that we're bad players I mean we can play when we play against the beta testers you know we, we do fairly well yep. and, so and eventually, eventually the pro players will pass us there's no question um, but it'll be interesting to see the evolution that they go through in the real world it, it won't be overnight it'll be you know it'll take several months we, we expect and we're still learning new things about the game so that's great it's wonderful cool. alright well uh, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us we really appreciate it so uh, yeah <laughs>